Hi, I'm going to show you how to perform a VLOOKUP in Python using the Pandas library. Uh, the VLOOKUP is used to find vertical data, you know, that's arranged in a vertical fashion. That's why it's called a VLOOKUP. We're using um, the leftmost value in a VLOOKUP formula. So that's why you're always having to use that value and what that is actually doing is bringing in two tables and connecting them in what's called a join and so if you take a look at this excel i have um a large table here and then i have two tables that have some values in that i'm interested in finding from these lookup values. So I've highlighted the meal in the market segment column and I want to use these values to return this data. So we're looking at hotel data uh, and what we want to be able to do is bring that into a Jupyter Notebook which is a IDE and we are going to use merges to bring back that data. And I can show you um, a little visual of what a merge is. So we're using this main table that we have here. And what we're doing is bringing in all the data that is matching, for example, for VLOOKUP, the left table. So this is the functions that we're going to be using. Merge, which is a join, and we're going to be bringing in data that matches up our left table in this in this example which is a left join okay so let's open up a Jupyter notebook and get started so here I have a Jupyter notebook and the first thing we want to do is load in pandas pandas is a data manipulation library and we can do everything with it within this library so I'm gonna put the first command in so we're going to import pandas that is the library that we're using and we want to import pandas as pd why are we using as pd because this is the alias that we're using pd is shorter than just using pandas so that's kind of the standard that we're going to be using now that i've imported that i can just simply run it and now that that has been loaded and you can see that by this one here I want to bring in my main data so the main data is going to be this table so let's just call that the main table main underscore table and I'm going to now use that alias PD and then we're going to use the read, C, read Excel function and then what do I want to do? I want to find the path where my data is. And I believe I've saved this on my desktop. So I'm just going to write that path in. And it's called hotel data dot x l s x. Now now that we have that, we need to tell where is this table located within this workbook. It's on a sheet, and this sheet is called 2018 because this is 2018 data. So we just bring in the sheet name parameter, sheet name, and then we equal, and then 2018. Now we want to make sure that is loaded so we can just do a main table again because we saved it as that variable and we can look at the head of that data frame which is essentially a table in pandas so i'm going to run that and we should see the first five rows which is the head of the data and it's a big file so it may take a minute so there is the data that we're looking for in all the rows now we need to bring in our other tables. So we, we can save a little bit of time by just copying this part 
going back down and then giving us a new name so we want to call the other one a market a market table market table and then we can go and see where that's located so we have market segment here that is the name of the sheet and all we have to do is go back and we call this market segment and we all we want to do is copy this again and now we want to be able to call this the meal table and let's go back to our sheet this is called meal cost the sheet name and then all we need to do is run that so we can hit shift enter to run so now that we have all those tables loaded in we want to be able to connect those tables to our main table so remember if you go back and you look at this visual we're going to be doing a left join so how do we connect those tables we're going to use our main table and let's first connect the meal table so it's a main table dot merge so that's what we're doing that is the command that we're using merge and what are we going to be merging we want to merge with the meal table so we're merging the main table with the meal table and how do we want to connect those two we want to connect them on something on a column so let's go back to our data we have the meal column here and then on our meal table we also have a meal column so I can just use the word meal so on meal now let's save this as a new table and the way we would do that is just simply call this a new name let's call it merge one then we just hit run and of course we can see the head of head of that as we did before so we can run that and now we can see that cost is a part of that table and it has been connected to our meal table now there is a lot of columns here so it's being truncated so the two columns I'm interested in I'm just gonna call this columns I'm gonna save that as a variable and I'm going to put here I'm just gonna name those two columns in a list called one is called one is called meal and the other one is called cost and I think that is with a big C capital all right so now we have a list of these two columns that we're interested in now I'm going to say okay give me my merge table and only give me these columns and then I'm going to run that with shift enter and now we can see there's just a meal and cost table so that means we have merged those two now I want to be able to also add our market segment table to the market value here so I want to be able to look up all these different costs that are associated with it. these are discount costs that are associated with each market segment 
and we can follow the same format that we followed before. Now that we have our new merge table, let's use merge dot what it, merge one dot in the table that we want to bring in. So we're going to merge with merge one, and then we're going to merge the market table. Market table. Now, what do we want to, now that we have that in, we need to merge it on something. So first, let us look at the data. We have market segment here, and we have market segment here. So we can merge that on market segment. And let's name this merge to all right so there's merge two let's get rid of space and we press shift enter and then if we want to look at the head of that we know there's going to be a lot of columns. So now that we know that, we have this list of columns here. So then why don't we just bring in market? Uh, one add to this by bringing in the market segment, which we know is this column, but we also want to bring in the discount. So we need to bring in one more into a column called discount. Now, if we just simply use our table, merge two, and we say we only want to see our columns. Now, we also need to run this so it is saved, but it's not going to work because we don't have discounts just yet. That is only in merge two. So what we want to do is we don't want to run this again. We just want to comment that out. So I'm just going to use the hash symbol. Then I'm going to run it. And we know market segment we ran. And then I am going to shift enter. And now we can see we have the meal, the cost, the market segment, and all the values that are there. Of course, we can add that to all in one table so we can see everything, but this is just a quick way for you to do a VLOOKUP in Pandas. Is there, if there are any questions that you need answered or you would like to know any other methods that we can replicate in this way, please let me know. If you like the video, please subscribe and Definitely leave questions because I love answering them. Thank you.